Welcome back to my channel everyone. I have just gotten home from Italy, my honeymoon. We were in Rome and in Pompeii. I highly recommend visiting Pompeii, that was super interesting. <laughs> Something else that's super interesting, or maybe just scary, is that I've been playing a game that is a horror action game. And I forgot my notes upstairs. I have been playing a new game that is dropping soon on the Nintendo Switch and that is called Before the Night and it is a super cute animal horror action adventure. Top down puzzle action, perhaps a bit unlike any other game because in this story the whole pet situation is upside down. The story in this game is that pets are the masters of the humans. And maybe that is how it is in real life for a lot of you guys. I know that is pretty much how it is in my life. We have gotten two new kittens, Tom and Bella, and they are so adorable. We are their human pets, basically. Before the Night is developed by Uneducated Game Studio, and its initial release was last year. But thanks to CFK, this is now being ported over to the Switch. Full release is on the 28th of September, and they are dropping the pre-sale and a demo on the 7th of September. So you can try this game on the 7th of of September demo on the Nintendo eShop. So you see these animals walking their humans? That is exactly how we feel. Also this game is rated as very positive on Steam. So the story is that you play as pet human Lisa and your master, the rabbit Alice, has died mysteriously. So Lisa is devastated and is now on a journey to find a way to save her, whatever the cost. Lisa loves her master as she has always been so kind and good to her. As you play, you will be more and more mystified by the entire animal village and the story behind this as you uncover more and more of its secrets. So basically you are set to find the flowers of life as they are the key to bringing someone back from the dead. But the more flowers of life you pick, the weirder the world gets. The story is obviously horror based with scary and grotesque moments. Shockingly grotesque. As the super cute animals, they can turn on you the more and more you pick the flowers of life. Or the more and more you kill them. You will understand when you play it. <laughs> So gameplay wise, you pass and progress through a lot of different areas with puzzles in them that you have to solve. And there are cute animals everywhere that you both sometimes have to talk to, sometimes you have to trade with them, and sometimes you have to run for your life because they are chasing you. You have several ways of progressing each level. You can play the safe way where you, for example, trade a carrot with a villager to get a key. Quite peaceful stuff, really. But you can also choose to do an alternate way. Like, for example, just straight out go out on a murder spree, throwing hammers at them. But that also results in the village getting crazier, which is such a scary experience. So each area start out bright and cozy, but as you pick the flowers, and or start killing too much you can trigger the night where they will start chasing you making for a hectic scream worthy gameplay style as you try to dash as fast as you can for the door if you have been able to open the door yet that is you have your health at the bottom left of the screen along with your inventory of items that you can rotate between these items you throw to solve the puzzles of the game you can also pick them up again unless you have used them like for example you can throw throw keys at locked doors and some doors requires other specific items to unlock as you can see here you can use the hammers to both break obstacles and use in self defense In order to move on to the next area, you have to activate enough of these blue devices in order to open the portal door. The compass in the bottom right of the screen shows the location of the door, along with showing you how many of the blue devices that you have left to collect. As the darkness increases with each flower that you pick, you will have to run, you will have to hide, you are gonna have to outsmart your enemies. And you will also die a lot. I have died so many times in this game but the game is so forgiving with death as you just start over in your current level easy peasy and i also found that in some levels i had the wrong approach so i alternated my strategy after every time that i died so that i got better and better in every level and the further you get into the game the puzzles are going to get more and more clever and tactical There are several difficulties in the game. I am playing on very easy, you know me. But I'm still dying. The game also has a several languages installed. 
I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can also hide in bushes. So trading with the animals, you do by throwing the item that they are requesting and you get what they have in their hands. But what you can also do is trade a bunch of stuff and then just kill them. <laughs> Sorry. The further and further you get into this game, the enemies look more and more grotesque. Okay, we are talking severed body parts, so we're talking blood. We're talking whatever this thing is. I don't know if I want to spoil the story, but... It gets better and better the more into the story that you get. The story is also told very gradually, keeping the story interesting. And I feel like I want to just do one more level because I want to see where the story is going. It's so macabre. Is that a word? Macabre. Okay, anyways, let's talk about the graphical style. It is what immediately caught my attention with this game, the graphical style. I absolutely adore this type of art style of the characters. They're simply gorgeous. Also, the color palette and the use of light as you walk around is proper eye candy. You also visit so many unique places like this ominous snail restaurant snail restaurant. Here you can also see that I've gotten a rabbit costume and that makes me able to jump past obstacles. You get this costume uh, fairly early on in the game. That is super fun. Before the night both looks and performs excellent on the Nintendo Switch. I can confirm. It looks really sharp on the screen which I so much appreciate. I am loving the art style. Monsters are terrifying. Level design gets more and more clever. This is a game that looks good. Now sound-wise and music-wise, I found the music to be memorable enough, started to hum along. Sound effects are excellent and satisfying with all of the splats and the clicks and the pfft. And the text sound is that characteristic. The music becomes more and more dark and scary as the area turns madder and crazier. Sound work is excellent in Before the Night. Very satisfying stuff. Now my verdict of this game is that I find this game to be an indie gem of a game. Made by only one man. And it is definitely an interesting little horror action adventure puzzle... Adventure? Horror action adventure fun time to be had in this game. I am happy to present this wholesome indie title and be sponsored in this video. Remember the pre-sale on the 7th of September. Remember the demo. Remember the full release on the 28th of September. And I have a link down below if you want to read more information about this wholesome game. And it is quite addicting. If you're into that action gameplay, also a sprinkle of horror and a sprinkle of cuteness from the animals it is such a contrast. And I like big contrasts in games. Also, there are cats and animals and, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for cats. This game is also fun to restart over and over again and I see good speedrunning potential in this title. Very good stuff. You know, as I got better and better, I got faster and faster with each level. However, I wish there were a level select screen and maybe even like a... Um, like an overworld map sort of a map, you know. Those are my immediate suggestions for improving the game. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and hit like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Which I enjoy. Wait, what should I ask you?